were the worst thing that happened. Okay. <laughs> but I was really nice, though. I was nice the whole time, I promise you. So, don't put me on your naughty list. Never. Okay. Your turn, um, my friend. Bless practice, you. Practice was, I mean, over the break, it was a, it was a much needed break. Um, I got a chance to connect with the boys a little more. It wasn't just to get up and go and just autopilot. So it was nice for them to oversleep and and for us to enjoy each other. And um, we didn't do the mindful sleeping. Uh, we did the mindful napping <laughs> because they were um, really like really testing mommy. <laughs> and so. Um, that was much needed, and then in class they kind of called me out because the uh, they had a test and um, a quiz, a vocabulary quiz. And we're gonna have a quiz, and I said number your paper from 11 through 15 because they were asking me how the test was gonna be. It was one through 10, multiple choice, and then I had another uh, five questions that I wanted to just say the definition, and they write the word. The words are on the board <laughs> five times. And they were like, well, you didn't tell us the number of the paper. And blah, blah, blah. So I just, it was not my fault at all. Like, I, <laughs> at, at the end, the teachers were like, Ms. Price, you okay? I, I numbered the paper from 11 to 15. <laughs> you know, so that's the running joke down the thing. And one of the students said, Ms. Price, that wasn't very mindful of you. You know, so they're good. And, and what did, you, when they said that, what did you respond? I felt bad. I, <laughs> I said I was trying to be mindful, but I think after the 11th time of repeating myself, and I was very clear because I know you, you guys Sorry. were trying to get out of taking the quiz. I think you guys, you guys deserve that. I was less mindful. Well, no, I mean, I think, I think first of all, yeah. just owning your humanness, like yeah. that you were trying, I was and trying. they pushed you past your limit. <laughs> they were really trying to be manipulative to me. I'm like, this is and the oldest you, trick in the book. And <laughs> did you say that to them? I did. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think it's totally fair. And they was like, well, how about, can we do some mindful uh, eating of chocolate while we're doing this test or whatever? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of ways to distract and get away from the test. And yeah. I think mm -hmm. when I let off on them about the 11, look, I'm tired of it. Number your papers from 11 to 15 and you, and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear anything. They was just, <laughs> and then somebody, Ms. Price, that wasn't very mindful. <laughs> but but the, there's also the, there also yeah. is the possibility that it was. Like, because I will occasionally, mm -hmm. and it's pretty rare. Yeah. I mean, there's two things that I do occasionally, but hopefully mostly very intentionally. Mm -hmm. One is curse, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> which I do on special occasions, like for emphasis. But the other one is, um, like I, for, I can't even remember what my husband and I were in it about. But, you know, I said, I'm... I know I'm raising my voice and I'm doing it intentionally because you're not hearing me. Like, there's a place to just, you know, so there's all, that is a hole. I didn't have the aiminess right now. <laughs> what? I, I didn't have the aiminess. Right, right but there's a hole yeah. and there are lots of different streets, but one of the different streets is just like, knock it off. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Right? And that's a fine, <laughs> like, as a teacher mm -hmm. with a group that's pushing your limits, yeah. That's a fine street, and they can know that you're human and that you have limits and mindfulness or not. Like, not there's mm -hmm. things that just don't fly. Ooh, I felt so empowered. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, that's the misprice. And I was like, don't start it. We're done with this. <laughs> but we got to laugh afterwards, and Miss Gomez, I call her, when she gets into that, mm -mm -mm, I call her Miss Gamo. She was like, that was Miss Priso. Because <laughs> <laughs> she was looking like. <laughs> but take, taking yeah. it back for a minute to yeah. you, remember when we did the Aikido thing? Yes, yes. Right? Like, there's a place mm -hmm. to be to be aggressive. Yeah. There's a place to turn people to see so they can see your perspective and they can see yours. There's a place actually just to submit. 
Yeah. You know, and it's mindfulness is choosing. And there's definitely a place when you've got a bunch of like knuckleheads that are just like trying to push your buttons. It's like buttons. There are no buttons. <laughs> Take your test. <laughs> but you said, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to hear about it. I know tomorrow. So I'm, I'm going to be ready and I'm going to try to be very mindful. <laughs> Hopefully they're, you know. It is what it but, is. And have a sense, like, have a sense of humor about it, but yeah. also own, like, they have their piece to play. Mm -hmm. And they have their responsibility. And they were trying to push you in the hole. I was on Bob McFarland. You know how loud Bob hits. Oh, my gosh. Like, the whole wing just, it echoed. <laughs> like, everything just silent. <laughs> So now the teachers have a joke, and everybody's coming to me with their paper folded, <laughs> eleven to fifteen. And I'm just like, you should turn. You should hand them back to them with something written. Written on them. there. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, like, find find your humor, but okay. also find like, there's this place where it's like, no. Mm -hmm. We like you. The first three times you can mess with me is mm -hmm. fine, but now we're done. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, you know, owning that. I feel good though. <laughs> there you go. Sarah, you're up. Um, I had a very relaxing week off yeah. in Hawaii. And so mm. I mindfully snorkel and mindfully <laughs> floated in the waves and awesome nice. waves. Yeah, probably the most relaxed I've ever been. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and then, in terms of where I'm going with my class, um, we did one shorter practice. Um, and then I think I'll probably revisit it as we're working on their final version of their research paper next week. It's that particular stressor hopefully increases a little. Yeah. Please what, what a little bit of stress. <laughs> <laughs> like, Please care about this enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, too much, but some would be good for you. Yeah. So relaxing. <laughs> I went into my garage on Tuesday, I think, and just shut the door. <laughs> and I stood in the middle of the garage and I took like five deep breaths and I prayed that the week was over. <laughs> we, know, we know who has the young kids in this yeah. garage. And so that was pretty much my But it was good during nap time. I was able to practice a little bit, I practice, and then I'd nap. But then there were days where Drew didn't nap, so then I was yeah, needing to practice more. <laughs> um, so, and then uh, with my class, uh, we'd spent a lot of time on self esteem this week, which was good. A lot of good conversation. So, before we go on, and you do not need to answer, but I want to give you space because, like, you left us hanging with this chapter of, like, the class was really. Like, you were really struggling, and so I'm just wondering if you want to say anything, and it, it's totally fine if the answer's no. No, it's fine. Um, I just didn't want to do it in an email. I don't like yeah, talking totally in emails. Understand. I'm not very sure. good. At, I'd rather keep it short. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm looking at my little Michael as an angel. That it's hard. I'm trying, but I am looking at him... Because he's very dis very disturbed. Mm -hmm. And the other kids in there, and understanding that they've got some big issues. And I have, I just did a turn, I just decided I was not, their issues were not mine, and I was not going to react. Mm -hmm. And I really, I breathe deep before <laughs> class starts, I breathe deep in class, I just, I, I'm trying really hard. And how's it, how's it feel It inside? feels better. I feel less tense. And do you feel like you're, they, um, for, like, you're doing it gently or you're forcing, like you're forcing yourself to not? And you can, it can be yeah. both, it's not either or. I'm forcing myself and then I release it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm. This is 
with your mic on. I mean, you know, okay. Like, and then I just I really look at him with a different. And did you do loving kindness? Did you decide yeah. to do that? Yeah. And did the, was that part of the yeah. shift or not yeah. necessarily? Yeah. Okay. One last loaded question because I can't help myself. Um, <gasps> I don't mind. And is um, is this translating at all into home, the home practice? Um, I am told that I am handling things better. Um, my daughter had a seizure mm -hmm. and was found. Mm. How old is she? 24. Oh, wow. And that, I was, I'm just, I'm dealing, I'm not, I, I was just, okay. I started thinking about it and trying to analyze it. Yeah. So I want to, this is a good point to clarify, like, the idea of mindfulness is not that we're, um, and this is, I'm not saying this is what you're saying, I just, I feel obligated to clarify, not that we're like unfeeling automatons, but just that we, we have our feelings, and then we let them pass, and that we're not reacting out that's, of the reactive period. And that's because right. otherwise, there's this idea that like, my daughter has a seizure and I'm just supposed to sit there and go, okay, my daughter had a seizure now. And that's really no, not right. um, the intention. Right. Because 